Good afternoon, Brett. Brian Gallagos here from Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. I just want to reach out and first of all say thanks for your inquiry on the new 2020 Colorado. Uh, this is the Z71. Uh, this is our off-road package. This is also the Duramax diesel. So you got the 2.8 liter turbo diesel in here. With the Z71 package, you're going to get the Rancho shocks. You're going to get a skid plate underneath the transmission. You're going to get two-speed transfer case, locking rear differentials. And you're also going to get hill descent control. Now with this 2.8 liter Duramax turbo diesel, you're gonna get an average of 22 miles to the gallon. You're gonna get 19 city, and you're gonna get 28 on the highway, which is absolutely incredible. Coming around to the back here, we do have our rear parking sensors right there, as you can see, along with that nice size assist step so we can get in and out of the bed very easily. There's our seven and our four pin connectors for towing and obviously our backup camera. Now when we pull this tailgate open, it comes down silky smooth, no banging, no clanging. Then we've got to put this thing back up. It weighs all of, I think, 11 pounds, which is very nice. Another thing I wanted to show you back here where we fuel up, where we have the diesel, is also where our diesel exhaust fluid uh, lives. So when we need to fill that up, it makes it super convenient. Instead of crawling up under the hood like it used to be on the Silverados, I'm not sure if you're familiar. They've changed that on the Silverados as well, which is very nice. Coming inside, I wanted to show you the back seat first. Show you there's a decent amount of space back here. I'm six feet tall, and when the seat isn't all the way back as it is right now, I don't feel like my legs are in my chest by any stretch of the imagination. Got a couple of USB ports as well as a 12 volt outlet right there. And then my favorite part of this space is the two tone interior. Like, I think that's absolutely incredible. They got the two tone not only on the seats, but on the door panel as well, as you can see. Gosh, that just looks neat. Come around inside, there's that T-tone again. It's everywhere. I like that too, that's neat. A little carbon fiber look. I wanna show you a couple of the creature comforts. We do have a heated steering wheel here, as well as heated seats, driver and passenger, which is very nice. Swing way over here, we've got our trailer brake controls, as you can see. We can adjust the gain right there. There's where our lights are going to be, our automatic lights, fog lights, things of that nature. Here's where our two wheel drive is, auto, four wheel drive, four high, four low, things of that nature. Wanted to show you this too, this is our driver information center. So what's neat about this, this vehicle specifically has the navigation uh, package with it. So it's got the, the maps downloaded on a SIM card, which is already plugged in. And it's going to tell us on the road we're traveling, what the speed limit in is, which is really neat. And we'll zoom in here a little bit. I wanna show you if we use this directional pad. So you can see, at a half a tank of gas, we got 216 miles until this tank needs to be refilled, which is incredible. We got seven miles on the truck. Scrolling over is our info page. And on that, we've got trip one, we've got trip two. We've got our fuel range, oil life, tire pressure sensor, oil pressure, fuel filter life, transmission fluid temperature, diesel exhaust fluid level and then there's a blank page which we can get rid of we can add stuff to it scrolling all the way over to the settings menu we can play around with the info page and the home page we can mess around with the phone there's no phone connected but we'd be able to get into our contacts recent calls things of that nature play around with the navigation and also manipulate the audio settings a little bit as you can see let's go to radio media i want to listen to some sirius xm there we go now, coming over here, bloop, we've got this nice infotainment three system right here with the ability uh, to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So when you plug your phone into the USB ports down there, it's gonna end you access to Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto. It's gonna act as a second phone screen. So it's going to give you access to several applications, uh, the weather included in that uh, Google Maps is another one. You've also got um, access to Spotify, Pandora, things of that nature. We can pair our phone via Bluetooth. We got our hands-free calling right there. We can also listen to that uh, audio that's on our phone on that Bluetooth as well. My apologies for the glare. The sun is shining today. I'm digging it. I am digging it. There's a backup camera that I was talking about earlier. Got that high definition vision, which is very nice. There's our parking assist lines. There's our trailering assist line which is super neat. 
speaking of trailering and towing, there's our exhaust brake tow haul mode. So when we're towing a trailer, the uh, the engine is going to uh, to use the uh, kind of reverse the exhaust, so to speak, uh, to help slow the engine down, which is nice. So we're not putting a bunch of wear and tear on our brakes. But we also have the trailer brakes, and when we use everything in conduction in conjunction. We're gonna get the most efficient uh, fuel mile or uh, yeah fuel mileage, as well as uh, as the least amount of wear and tear on our vehicle. Next to that, we got the Stabila track. We've got our hazards. That little button right there looks like a shower in the bed of the truck. Is actually an LED light right above the cab. It's gonna shine down the bed, make loading and unloading things at night a little bit easier. There's that hill descent control that I was talking about earlier with the Z71 package, as well as the parking assist. So if you don't like the beep beep, uh, we can shut that off. And then look at that fancy little piece right there. It's a wireless phone charger. So if you got a newer version of Android or Apple product, uh, you just set that baby down right there. It's gonna start to charge automatically, which is super neat. Anyways, Brett, love to have you down. Come take a look at this in person. Come take a test drive with me. We're located at 4050 West. 3500 South in West Valley City. Again, my name is Brian with Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. I appreciate your time. I'll look forward to hearing from you.